All right, let's bring in right now Republican presidential candidate, former Massachusetts governor, Mitt Romney, friend. Governor Romney. Thank you so much for being with us. Is it true mm. that if you know how to run a company, you don't know how to run the country? <laughs> or if you're in a country, you don't know how to run a company? That's what Carly said yesterday, that John McCain wouldn't be a good CEO. <laughs> well, I think she's wrong on that one. I'd be happy to hire John McCain and Sarah Palin to run a company I'm an investor in. But, uh, but I must admit, I probably wouldn't hire Barack Obama. But that's a separate matter. Well, wh why would you hire a guy that says he doesn't know a whole lot about the economy to run your company? I mean, I would hire but, you to run any company I had. And sure. I would go to Tahiti and Top of spend a couple of years there because I know you'd make me a millionaire. Yeah. But then again, you've never said you don't know much about the economy. John, because, uh, uh, excuse me, Joe, because uh, John McCain has said time and time again that he's a person who's got a, a pretty wide breadth of experience and, for instance, having led in the U.S. military, had a full career there, and led in the U.S. Senate for 25 years, has given the man the kind of judgment and experience that you want to have at the helm of an enterprise, whether it's a, a state or a country or, for that matter, a business. And there have been, there've been some pretty successful uh, political leaders who've gone on to run enterprises and, uh, and vice versa. So, yeah. Yeah, John McCain, Sarah Palin, I'll, uh, I'll choose them any day. Are the fundamentals of this economy strong, as John McCain says well, they are? Well, the economy right now is really in a, in a real distressed setting, and a lot of people are also really distressed. Fundamentally, beneath the economy uh, that you're seeing in such a distressed state is the fact that we have a very high productivity workforce. We have innovation that leads the world. We have an educational system that leads the world. So those, if you will, foundational elements of our economy are strong, but, but we're in a mess right now. Mm. And that's why John McCain has said we're going to have to revamp our regulatory, regulatory structure on Wall Street put in place more transparency, and he believes this is not the time to raise taxes. Frankly, I think Barack Obama is going to have to give up this talk of raising taxes. It would just kill our well, economy. And, he, and he's already actually talking about delaying the, the repeal of the Bush tax cuts for a year or two. I, let me ask you about John McCain's ads. A lot of people have accused him of launching unfair, untrue ads. I know during the end of your campaign against John McCain, you accused him of lying. And I, I, I hate to say it, but... He did not characterize your statements on withdrawal from Iraq in a truthful manner. And after you caught him lying, and after you caught him lying in advertisements, you called him out on it, and he continued. To, there's just no other way to put it. Lie about what you said about troop withdrawals from Iraq. Doesn't that concern you that the guy you're supporting uh, appears to be doing the same thing to Barack Obama? Well, I believe that the ads that you're seeing running Barack Obama are ads which describe what Barack Obama has done in the past. It's very difficult to pin Barack Obama down as to what he actually believes because he's changing from what he's been doing in the past. Uh, for instance, he says well, he's well, not going to raise taxes. That ad he ran against you wasn't true, right? Well, I think it was not accurate for him to continue to say that uh, that I was uh, in favor of a specific date for troop withdrawal. And, and it's not really and, accurate and to made, say that Barack made, Obama wants five-year-olds to learn about sex before reading. That's not true either, is it? Which well, is the, the specific bill yeah. that he, the specific bill which uh, Barack Obama voted for, calls for sex education beginning as low as the, the uh, kindergarten, and it includes in that bill language which says that the uh, that each class is to learn about sexually transmitted diseases. In my in my opinion, and John and I, John McCain and I share the same view. Uh, the only sex education that's appropriate in kindergarten is no sex education. Okay. Well, and also the, I think the, the implication of the words were not used correctly because I think what kindergartners would have been learning is how to protect themselves from predators. But we'll leave it there. Governor Romney, I just want to ask about this crisis we're seeing on the front pages of all the newspapers. Go back to that. Um, because your candidate in the past has been against regulation. How does he now bridge that? And... Um, support, I guess, the government taking control of the situation so that these banks don't collapse and people don't lose their money. You know, hopefully uh, uh, people in America are wise enough to recognize that no one's in favor of no regulation. Uh, frankly, we have laws and regulations throughout the economy. But sometimes regulations become such a burden, particularly for small business, that they just can't get themselves off the ground. So Republicans and John McCain among them has been the one who's been fighting to try and take off the useless regulations that, that burden job creation. 
But yeah. of course, we, we regulate the, the uh, Wall Street. We have the SEC, a whole regulatory structure to do so. There's a federal office that's responsible for overseeing mortgage products and making sure they don't uh, cause harm to the economy. They weren't doing their job properly. Yeah. And John McCain wants to see us put in place a new regulatory structure, which is fashioned to actually protect the economy. Republicans and Democrats both have been unwisely demanding more mortgages handing out, being handed out like candy, yeah. and that's what's caused this mortgage-driven it crisis. Has been right. a mess. And Governor, it's Total always excess. great talking with you. I hope if Thanks, we do Governor. develop a 9/11 type commission, uh, somebody puts you and Bob Rubin in charge of it, because uh, we know it'd be taken care of. Well, that's what the guy does: turn he, companies I around, know, turn states around, turn the Olympics around. Well, you know, he's he's a leader. What he is a leader. Thank you so much, Governor, Governor. Romney. Thank you. Uh, you know, Talk John, to you soon. Hey, thanks, we were Mika talking and Joe. Good to be with you. Talking